Hey, welcome to Tech Tuesday. Way here. We made it. Let's begin. Are you guys having a good week so far? I know it's only Tuesday, but uh, you having a good week so far? Yesterday was uh, yesterday's training went really well. We uh, had the real estate Q and A. We talked a bit about funding, and we talked about some of the success some of our clients are having in our coaching programs, which is awesome, fantastic to uh, to those that are uh, you know crushing it in their business and, and doing things they've never done before uh, in their business, which is fantastic. So. Uh, I'm really happy for you guys. Also, we have a new uh, a podcast interview that's alive. Oh, let me do that. We have a new uh, podcast that's live. You can check that out in the podcast. I did an interview with Robert Winkle from um, uh, Rocket Station, rocketstation.me. If you don't know what that is or if you haven't heard the podcast yet, get over to any podcasting platform that you may use, whether it's uh, Apple Podcasts, if it's Spotify, if it's Google Podcasts, whatever it may be, Stitcher, uh, get over to that and you can start listening to our newest podcast, which went really well. It was an interview I did with Robert from Rocket Station. If you're looking for delegation in your business, I definitely check out that interview and how he went from real estate investor to real estate service provider to helping real estate entrepreneurs like yourself Um, build their business through delegation using virtual assistants. Sometimes finding a good virtual assistant company can be the hardest thing, honestly, or a company or a person. It can be really difficult. Um, And I know some people in this group have mastered that, which is fantastic. So uh, be sure to check out that recent podcast interview. Uh, You can go over to our vlog or you can just, like I said, get on any uh, podcasting platform and you can listen to our podcast uh, recent episode there with Robert. So it was really great. All right, so today's Tech Tuesday. Today we're gonna be covering one of my favorite apps in life and in business. Um, It is so crucial that you have this service and uh, or something like it uh, because this will actually save your hiney. Today's Tech Tuesday, we're gonna talk about LastPass. Now hold on, don't jump off right away. You're probably thinking, Nathan, uh, this has nothing to do with real estate or business. You're wrong. This has everything to do with sanity and saving time and energy. If you do not have a password saver yet, some type of software to save your passwords, if you are, like, by the way, you know me, I normally don't have pages or paper on my my desk. This came from um, my, my business partner. But if you have pages of where your passwords are kept or a little notebook or something like that, Do not do that. I'm going to show you a once and for all software. Now, it might take you just a minute to get used to it or at least import or port your passwords over, but don't let that stop you from getting started. I want to introduce you to LastPass, okay? LastPass is basically the last, you'll only remember one password and it will be the last password you'll ever have to remember because you only need to remember that one password and that's your password to get into your LastPass software. Does that make sense? It's your vault. It's your where it holds all your other passwords in life. Passwords for things like Facebook and Amazon or CRMs, whatever it may be, whether it's your personal life or your business life, you can actually even have folders and separate the two. You can log in on the go, meaning you can log in from your phone, which is fantastic. Uh, it actually can help you with online shopping, meaning it can auto- automatically generate your uh, personal information, your name, your address, it could do it automatically with autofill. So if you're ever filling out those forms and you're buying something online, it can do autofill for you, which is really nice. It generates strong passwords. Now, this is really important, by the way. Most people, I think it is a study that was done just a few years ago that actually I think it was like over 80% of the population actually uses the word password or a one, two, three password, one, two, three, four, five password in their password. Like absolutely insane. Now, one of the things that I've read and studied about when it comes to passwords, because um, I don't know if you knew this about me, but actually uh, when I was like very early on online, like amongst all my friends, I was already on Amazon when it first came out. Um, I was actively on the internet. So my internet, my, my identity got stolen four times in my life so far. Um, various ways, whether it was my personal name, peeping, people opening up, um, people opening up like credit cards in my name, or people opening up, um, or just t- drafting money out of my accounts, credit cards, stuff like that. So it's happened four times, and so I was very affected by identity theft early on in my life. Um, you know, upon the the age of the internet, right, just coming up and people getting online. So 
one of the things that I think people don't understand is they'll have like this, they'll have cameras on their house, right? They'll have an alarm system on their house, but they have no alarm system. They have no password protection, no security on any of their passwords online. And actually, uh, thievery in the world has gone a lot from breaking and entering into a home to online hacking because it's so much easier to not be caught, right? Meaning you can mask yourself or it's so much harder to catch the perpetrator. So um, that is something that, uh, that a lot of people are not protecting. So one of the most important things is to generate a strong password and a strong password means uh, 16 characters or more. 16 characters or more. D did you hear what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm gonna sh actually show you some of my passwords and I don't care, it's not like you're gonna remember them. Unless you stop and save this. <laughs> but anyway, I'll show you uh, one of the things that you can use to make that happen. Another thing, you can store digital records if you wanted to, like Wi-Fi passwords, insurance card, membership, stuff like that. You could do that with LastPass. Here's a cool thing that I like to do. Um, I, I share my social media accounts with my virtual assistant and you can actually share certain folders with anyone. So maybe it's family members, you want them to have access to certain accounts, you could share that effort, effortlessly with them, okay? So any kind of website, whatever it is, they do have a free option. So you can start off free and then I'll show you the pricing. It's really cheap for the cost of sanity. Just look at this pricing, one user, free access on all devices, uh, one to one sharing, save and fill passwords, a password generator, secure notes, security challenge. The security challenge I really like because one of the things you can do is it, it actually runs this search on all your passwords and it will tell you how strong your passwords are. And uh, if any of them have been, um, what are they, compromised, if any of your passwords have been compromised publicly. So I love the security challenge. I think I'm at like an 83. I'll show you that in just a minute. So you can have premium, which is pretty much the plan I've been on. Um, I, what's the main difference? Oh, emergency access includes uh, everything in free. I think there was one of the reasons why, um, I think it was maybe advanced multi-factor options. I can't remember why. Um, but yeah, I've been on the premium since it first came out. And if you want to do it for families, you can add up to six users if you wanted to. I don't have that, but I have the, the premium version and uh, it works out really well. So that's the pricing, I just showed you that. I wanna give you an example. I'm opening up Amazon, right? So you sh you can add the, add in the Crown, uh, Chrome, <laughs> the Crown browser, no the Chrome browser extension. You can add extensions in Google Chrome, Safari, or Edge, the new Microsoft um, one, or uh, I don't even think Internet Explorer is around anymore, right? So you can add the extension, which does autofill. So now that I'm on the Amazon website, right, you can see this like little one over here, and that means now this is, the, this is like the extension for the Google Chrome. You can open up the vault, you can see other sites, you can generate a secure password right in here, okay? You can uh, show matching sites. So now it's recognizing that I'm actually in one of my sites and I can copy the username right from there if I needed to. I can copy the password if I needed to, which is right there as well. And uh, I can copy the URL. I can actually go into this and now I can edit the username and password for that as well, okay? Um, and that's simply what it does. So if I needed to log in, even though I don't, actually, let me just show you. I'm gonna log out. Let me move this around. I'm gonna log out. I haven't logged out of my Amazon account and I don't even know how long. I don't even know how to log out. How do I log out of this thing? <laughs> oh, it's right there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you with my Amazon account. Okay, you see what it just did? So now I'm logged out, but see how it auto-filled and it remembered? I don't know that password. I have no idea what my password is for Amazon. Oh shoot, I have a two-factor auth, oh, yeah, sorry. This is just, on, for me personally, this does not happen with LastPass, by the way. This is actually just something I personally set up in uh, Amazon that uh, I have two-factor uh, authorization with kind of quite a few of my accounts. So it just sent me a text message so that, that does not happen with LastPass. I just want to make that clear. What happens is the the thing that happens is the um, autofill, okay? So let me show you inside of the vault, okay? The vault is, this is like the background, right? You can add your secure nodes, that kind of stuff. These are all your sites. Now see, I have 300 
and 75 sites that it keeps track of, okay? 375. And um, here's the security challenge. Now, when you do the security challenge, it asks you to like show you a score and then ask you for your master password, which I'm not gonna type in right now. But when you do this password uh, challenge, what ends up happening is you, uh, it will give you a score and it'll tell you what has been compromised and what hasn't been compromised and all that kind of stuff. It's like really important, by the way. And you can see what your score is. I think right now mine is around like a 90, maybe 89 or something like that. So your goal is to get your security score to 100 as, you know, as much as you can. So most people, <clears throat> and I want to show you something here. Most people, what they do is they um, they have like simple passwords. But I'm going to tell you right now, what I learned from using GlassPass is all my passwords are like over 16 characters, like I just told you earlier. So most people have passwords like whatever. Now, this is their browser version of generating a password, but you can do this right through here. You can do generate secure password and you can do the same thing. I'm just showing you through this through this way, okay? What's really important is that you should always have an uppercase in your password. You should always have lowercase. You should always have numbers and symbols. You should always have these you should always have them like in your password. Your password should not be a few, okay? What I've learned through LastPass is a minimum of 16 characters. That's what is kind of discovered by a lot of hackers and all this kind of stuff. 16 characters works really well. I don't know why the number is 16. Hopefully that doesn't change in the future, um, but that's really important. I wouldn't select easy to say or easy to read because now you're taking out some of, you're making it less difficult, okay? All characters means it makes it much more difficult and very, very strong. Now, some people, you can go to, if you need bigger amounts of um, password length, that's fine. The more characters, the stronger it is, okay? The only thing is, typically online, like if you sign up for an Amazon account, you cannot have like 33 characters in their password. They won't allow it. They typically allow 8 to like 16. Most big companies will only allow you to have 8 to 16. So the reason why I have mine always set to 16 is because it's the maximum amount for most websites that you can have for the most common big websites, okay? Um, and it's you can have it, it's the most secure, so you add all characters and then have all the symbols. And again, you can do the same setup right in here, generate secure password, and you can set all that up right in here. How many characters, you know, do you want uh, all the letters? You see, you can have all this set up right in here. Um, Allow all character types. Sorry, I just did that. And actually, I always do symbols as well. That symbols, I think, is, is really important. So you can do that, and you can just keep generating passwords. I'm kind of showing you how to do it two different ways. So if you all you do is you click on the extension, hit generate password, and you just keep, you can, this is just generating passwords, okay? This will generate passwords all day long for you. <laughs> so <clears throat> then you click, like, you can copy the password, or you can use the password and use it into any any website that you need. So in all these websites, these 375 websites, I do not remember any of them. I don't know any of those websites at all, at all. Like I do not know them, I don't, I don't know any of them at all. And the reason why that's so important is because I don't wanna remember them. I just wanna remember one password. And that one password is the main password to LastPass. Does that make sense, guys? use this software please if you do not have a good setup in your life and in your in your business for your passwords you must protect yourself um, hackers are have more access than ever before and they can mask themselves it's not as easy to find a hacker than it used to be um, and they're getting more uh, tactical um, so just keep that in mind I highly recommend this because you should protect your passwords as well as like any type of record, your passport or your bank account or your ID. That This is basically your digital ID online. So that's what I really like about LastPass. I wanted, I've been using this service now for over five years since they first came out. But I also have it on my phone, guys. Listen to this. Have you ever been stuck looking for a password or trying to remember something on your phone? Now, unfortunately, with the software right now, I can't pull up my phone on this display. But literally, the beautiful thing about whether you're using an Android phone or an iPhone 
it will tap in, it will remember your passwords by tapping into your LastPass. So once you download the app onto your phone and you log in with that one password, your last password you'll ever have to remember, um, once you log in onto any other site, it will automatically connect to your LastPass and it'll plug in that, with that uh, username and password. That is what's so awesome about it is you don't have to remember these passwords even on your phone, okay? That's a beautiful thing. That's something that everyone needs in their life. And by the way, if you do have, um, if you do have a password software already, um, I would love to know which one you're using. I know there's quite a few out there already. And also, if you're not using a password software, let me know in the comments below. Just say, you know, yes or no. Get out there, protect yourselves. <laughs> All right, enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.